D in the Red Bull Battlegrounds. We now have I Am Last Shadow taking on Startail Squirtle. And we did just see Last Shadow get defeated 2-0 versus Rhett. Now we're gonna have a TVP versus uh, a guy who just uh, came off of the finals of the GSL. Yeah, man, and he also just played such a strong series against his teammate Parting. We saw Squirtle yes. take that first match 2-1 over there. And so the first map here is going to be on Antigua Shipyard. Yep, and we're just waiting for Last Shadow to actually get into the game, but Antigua Shipyard, you know, Squirtle, uh, I don't think he's gonna have uh, too much of a problem here, but Last Shadow is going to be one of those individuals who, you know, is a relative unknown to some of the other players as they come in here, and that could be something that could work in his favor. He's now rejoining the game, and uh, you know, Squirtle, how can he, how can, you know, how can he sort of uh, deal with not knowing uh, uh, how a player plays, what he's capable of. I mean, just play your most standard game and kind of go for it. I think it's the only thing you can do. Absolutely, because uh, coming into this, Last Shadow was very much one of those unknowns in the event. Now over here, take a look at his player card just for a sec. Squirtle, you know him, you love him. He's got, he's just been such a strong player lately. But the player to really focus on here is Last Shadow. I think, I mean, I, unfortunately I wasn't able to watch the games, but from what it sounded like, it was relatively close matches and what, Last Shadow has said coming into this tournament is that he has actually already taken games off of all of these players. Yep. And yeah, now, he, if we could get the house audio switched back over. Check. Okay, well anyway, we're gonna be getting this game number one on Antigua Shipyard over here at the three o'clock position. This is Startail Squirtle. And over on the west side of the map as the Blue Terran it is I am Last Shadow. Now he did uh, have a matchup versus Rhett just moments ago. This is in Group D, trying to find out who is ultimately going to advance. Uh, Parting looked like he was possibly going to defeat Squirtle in that first game, but it's actually this guy right here, uh, Squirtle, who took it out over his opponent. So what exactly is he gonna be up against? What exactly will he decide to do? Coming off of uh, a, a finals game where he just played one of the most wicked Terrans on the planet, I'd say that prepares you pretty good for a matchup like a TVP. So we're actually gonna see exactly where this is gonna go. I want to see what kind of tricks Last Shadow has because he's been talked about as just a such a strong player previously i'm so anxious to get to see his play we got to watch a little bit over his shoulder but unfortunately you know that's such a such a small window of time so now we get to see right. him put to the true test as he plays against a, i mean a gsl silver silver uh, well second place i don't know second how place. i don't know how to say, say that silver but like. yeah <laughs> I, I i know what you're going for there robin you know what one thing i do want to say about last shadow is that his apm is actually just off of the charts it's really really crazy watching him play he's incredibly fast um, and, and, you know, we have seen fast players before in the past, but, you know, it looks like we are going to have a uh, CC first coming out here. As, yep, Last Shadow is going to go ahead and take it down to the low ground. It won't be blocked here by this probe, but uh, he might be able to do some harassment on that uh, SCV. In fact, that's exactly what he's going to do. As Squirtle comes on over, that means he'll have to bring a few more SCVs down, and there they are to get this done. And since you've already delayed your racks quite a bit to get this command center up, you do not want to uh, delay this any more than it has to be. So he is gonna try to get this up and he will just go ahead and repair his buddy right there. The buddy system is always the good way to go here in these particular situations. Meanwhile, over the main base, we have the gateway down and I wonder if he's just gonna Nexus first after seeing that CC first. That's exactly what he's gonna do here as he hits 400 minerals. We will see Squirtle throw down that Nexus. Oh wow, and Squirtle just being so efficient with his movements there, first using the probe to collect some minerals before he places down that Nexus that he can immediately beeline it back into the main. Now the, bat the barracks is going down. And uh, like I had mentioned, he w did not want to have this command center delayed any more than it could. He's already going to throw down a bunker here at the front. But look at this probe from Squirtle coming in and being even more uh, annoying than it could ever possibly be. And a follow-up oh. with the Zealot. Oh, well, hello, Austin, Texas. Welcome to the match. I mean, you've heard a bit of it. I'm sure that the visuals were a little confusing for a second there, but now we're good to go. And so, as you can see, we've got Squirtle moving across here with his first Zealot, dealing a, a good amount of damage, already taking down one of those SCVs, and now he's gonna be in great position to potentially take down a second one. 
Yep, here he goes. We got one Zealot about ready to fall down. And there we go. As he's going to take on another SCV. He's already killed four SCVs with this single Zealot. So think about the return that he got off of that. It doesn't even matter that this bunker is up in time. He's waiting for that first Marine to actually get out. And there he will go. He should be able to take out that Zealot no problem. But you do not want to be in a situation where you're suddenly just going to, you know, not be able to uh, or lose excuse me, all those SCVs early on. And uh, here we have more units coming out here. So we have the Stalker now heading down and the Zealot right in the middle, gonna meet back up with his teammate here. And we're gonna have a factory as well. So Last Shadow starting off with that quick CC, now gonna be going into factory play. I have not seen uh, a reactor quite yet. And the first Marine is out as well. And look at this. Squirtle so confident in what he is doing. He's going to throw down a third Nexus now. As he continues to get his uh, natural up. He may go in yet again. He walks right past the spares and Last Shadow says GG. Game number one goes to Squirtle. Man, so Squirtle able to get over there with that first Zealot and just do so much damage so quickly. Oh, yeah. man, just really, I mean, he closing did. out the game so quick, it's looking like, I mean, Last Shadow isn't feeling incredibly confident now. No, you know, I, you, it's going to be argued, like, should he just go with a fast CC in a situation like that? You know, not only did Squirtle identify he went fast CC, had no racks, which meant he could get that Zealot up and across the map enough time to do some damage, but then he was able to expand beyond that, and because he did do so much damage with that initial Zealot, he even threw down the third Nexus, and once that Stalker walked through, you know, he wanted to have two or three Marines in there. But of course, he, he his economy got hampered a little bit, he wasn't able to get out any additional Marines at that point, and uh, he had to fight, or he had to uh, uh, sacrifice so many SCVs to actually yeah. kill the Zealot as well, um, and that put him behind. I think he knew he was in a position where he wasn't going to be able to recover, hence the GG. So we're finding out what the next game is actually going to be. That's and, right. Uh, and we'll so uh, for his choices, he actually gets to choose between Cloud Kingdom, Daybreak, Ohana, and Metropolis. So those are the, the maps that were not downvoted by either of these players. Though I'm not sure if we went over like how map selection yeah, even works explain here. Explain it, just in case so anyone doesn't know. In, in every round, the first map is selected. Right. Each of the players get a blind ban. If they happen to ban the same map, that's totally fine. That just means that there's one extra map in the map pool, and then the loser of the first game gets to pick the second game. Right. So, I mean, that's pretty That's pretty similar, but the blind uh, veto is, is kind of cool. It's not an yeah. open thing. So, yeah, both players can be like Entombed, and then what happens? Well, Entombed's just eliminated all the other maps, still uh, allowed to be chosen at that point in time, and we're still waiting for the game to come up here. Uh, but I do have to say, going for those greedy style builds versus a player like uh, like Squirtle, who's probably going to be able to just take advantage of that. You know, I I I'm not sure if he could be doing those types of builds versus a guy who you know is that high profile of a Korean player who knows how to deal with that type of thing, who can punish you for being greedy and then punish you and be greedy himself. Like right. that's <laughs> that's rough, man. That's rough. Well, I think that, I mean, I, unfortunately, I think that what's happening is that we're not seeing Last Shadow in tip-top shape. Right. I really think that the potential could totally be there for a player like Last Shadow, but he's just not really shining as much as he potentially could. No, he's, uh, he's not. And, um, you know, he's looking for this opportunity to break out. He was brought out here to Red Bull Battlegrounds to try to prove himself. But I'll tell you what, you already got a really tough battle in front of you when you've got to deal with both Squirtle and Parting. Two of the world's best Protosses right up there. I mean, we don't even know how Rhett is going to be doing yet against these guys. I believe right now Rhett is actually going up against Parting. So we'll find out what the results of that will be, of course, as that game continues. And we That's are right. just waiting for game number two of Last Shadow versus Squirtle. Yeah, and now while we're waiting for this map to be pulled, you at home are more than welcome to switch over to the other stream because over there, Day9 and Liquid Sheth are currently casting that series between Rhett and Parting, which has been a pretty explosive match. The crowd's been going absolutely wild. Yes, and we've also got Husky doing some group C oh. games. Husky, you are the bomb. This man is a solo casting maniac. Yeah, man. I don't know how he does it. I just, I want to 
give him hugs upon hugs upon back paths, just whatever, because I don't know how he does it, man. So, solo casting is like one of the most difficult things he, to do. He, and he's such so. a trooper about it, too. It's so All right, wild. Well. All right. Guys, All we're right. going to take a quick commercial break to find out what will happen here in our next matchup. I'm DJ Wheat. And I'm Rob Simpson. Keep it locked to witness the grand conclusion to this series.